Hello everyone, and I'm back again to do another video. Today's video is going to be my, is it June? Gosh, is it June already? June 2014 book haul, and I'm excited to show you a, a show with you. <laughs> I'm excited to show you all the books that I got this month, slash, end of last month. So yes, I'm very, very pleased. Some of these overlap from previous months that I just forgot to show. So yes, I'm just going to get started. The first book is a book I got sent from Bloomsbury for a review, and it is... For Me Twice by Mandy Hubbard, and on the back it said, Mackenzie is determined not to fall for Landon all over again. Not after he dumped her and got back together with his ex. But they are both at Serenity Ranch and Spa for the summer, and she just can't ignore him, especially after he takes a nasty fall and doesn't remember ever breaking up with her. Now it's her turn to dump him, and not without a little bit of fun first. So yes, this looks really fun and cute and interesting, and I can't wait to start it. And also from Bloomsbury I got sent, Take Back the Skies by Lucy Saxton. This cover is gorgeous, really, really gorgeous, and I shall read you a bit of the back. Storms will set her free, freedom will set her world on fire. Catherine Hunter is one of the lucky ones. 14 years old, a daughter of privilege, she doesn't need to fear the collections which rip other Anaglin families apart, but she longs to escape before her dad can marry her off to a rich government brat and imprison her forever. So Catherine becomes Cat and stows away on the sky ship Storm Dancer, but the ship's small, courageous crew have secrets of their own. As they brave the storms that fill the skies between islands, Cat must choose loyalty or freedom, family or truth, love or battle, let the skies decide. So yes, it looks really, really good, and I've heard some really great things about it, and I can't wait to start it, so thank you for the Bloomsbury for those two. The next two books I got set in are from Headline Books via Bookbridger, which I mentioned in a previous video, and we'll leave the link down below. And the first one is Boy 21 by Matthew Quick. Matthew Quick is the author of the Silver Linings Playbook, and I've heard that's really, really popular. I love the movie, but I have yet to read the book. I'm not sure if I actually want to, but I've heard this is supposed to be really good. And the synopsis is a little long, so I'm not going to say anything about it, but I've just heard a very, very good book about friendship and things like that. And then I was, they also sent me Masquerade by Naira Dawn. This is the third book in the Games trilogy, I think it is. I think I hauled the first book last month, I think it was, and this is the third. I'm not entirely sure whether they focus on different characters. I think they might do, but just in case they don't, I'm not going to read the back. I'm looking forward to eventually getting around to reading this one and reviewing it. So the thank you to Headline for those two. Then I got a book from Electric Monkey, which is an imprint of Egmont Books, I think it is, and they sent me Louder Than Words by Laura Girat. It says, words on a page, they're beautiful, powerful, words in my mouth, they don't work. They choke up inside me and won't come out. My pen has a freedom my mouth has never had. The last person I spoke to was my brother, Silas, and I was six. Since then, not a word. Silas said he'd give anything to hear me speak again. Now I sit here and think the same thing about him. I think this looks really, really good, and it looks really sweet and kind and about friendship and family and I think there's a bit of romance in it I'm not entirely sure but it looks really good and I believe this came out on June 5th and I'm interested to see how everything plays out in this so thank you to Egmont for this one and the final review copy I got sent is Only Ever Yours by Lu Louise O'Neill and this is a proof copy and the actual cover is going to look like that it is being released the 7th of August. I shall just read you the back very quickly. Frida and Isabel have been best friends their whole lives. Now, age 16 and in their final year at the school, they expect to be selected as champions, wives to wealthy and powerful men. The alternative, life as a concubine, is too horrible to contemplate. But as the intensity of final year takes hold, the pressure to remain perfect becomes almost unbearable. Isabel starts to self-destruct, putting her beauty, her only asset, in peril. And then the boys arrive, eager to choose a bride. Frida must fight for her future, even if it means betraying the only friend, the only love she has ever known. So I think this looks really, really good. I don't think I've seen anyone add it to their list on Goodreads, but I think you should because it looks really fantastic. And thank you to Quirkus for this one. Now on to the books that I bought myself. True Fire by Gary Meanhan. I believe this is a fantasy book and it says if you're fans of Throne of Glass that you might like this so I'm interested to see what happens to this one. The Elite by Kira Cass, the second book in the Selection trilogy and it is a gosh a gorgeous cover. Faking It by Cora Carmack, the second book in the Losing It series and their companion novels and their new adult romance and 
I just love the first one losing it and I'm glad to have the sequel. Far From You by Tess Sharp. I believe this is a recent release of sorts. I bought this online and it's actually a proof copy which is really annoying but I got a refund for it and it's something to do with drugs and a murder I think but it looks really really good. Her Best Friend's Brother by TJ Dell. This is a self-published book. It just looks really really good. Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. A very short novel that I've heard some amazing things about. I think it's to do with a girl that's got kidnapped. Lockdown, Escape from Furnace by Alexander Gordon Smith. The first book in the series, I believe it is, about hell, I think, but it looks really awesome. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. And I bought this used online, and actually, it is signed by Neil right there. It's um, actually signed to someone called The Friendly Fellows. Not entirely sure who they are but it is still a signed copy and that is awesome. The Boy Who Streaks In My Bedroom Window by Kirsty Mosley. This is a really awesome feeling book. And this is also a self-published novel, I think. Yeah, it's another self-published book. When Summer Ends by Isabel Ray, another self-published book. I believe I had this as an ebook, but I wanted to get it in physical form because it looks awesome. The font is tiny. And then the next two books are actually proof copies and I did not get sent them for review but I bought them thinking they were finished copies and obviously I got my money back because of it but I still have them and maybe I will buy rebuy them in the future but yeah. First one is Lost Girls by Anne Kelly and the next one is Venom by Fiona Paul. I've heard some great things about this book. And then I got Unite Me by Tahara Murphy and it has the novellas Destroy Me and Fracture Me and also Juliet's Journal. I have yet to read Chatter Me but it looks really really good and I've heard nothing but great things about it so I'm glad to have the novellas because I got it for only a few pounds so that's awesome. And also by Tahara Murphy I have Unravel Me which has such a gorgeous colour. Why can't they print out Chatter Me in a hardback cover like this? with the matching one. This has deckled edges. Anyway, um, I now have the sequel, although I've yet to read the first book. I'm sure I'm going to love this series, so yes. And then I have Scarlet and Crest by Marissa Meyer. These are the second and third books in the Lunar Chronicles series. I believe the first one is called Cinder, and I have it right up there. I have yet to read it, but I've heard amazing things about this series, and I just had to pick them up while I found them cheap and they're just so gorgeous and they look so pretty together on the shelf so I just had to have these The Gathering Dark by Christine Johnson 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler Burning Blue by Paul Griffin The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett I read this in E-Galley and loved it so I had to get a physical copy Immortal City by Scott Spear What the Spell by Brittany Garagotelius. I cannot pronounce that. Can you? Scorched by Mar Mari Mancusi. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name. This cover is gorgeous and inside it is gorgeous too. And if you take off the cover, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the scales are raised. It's just so pretty. The Ghost and the Goth by Stacey Cade. Article 5 by Kristen Simmons. Timeless by Alexandra Monier. Another Little Beast by Katie Carius Quinn. Renegade by J.A. Saunders. Possession by Elena Johnson. The Turning by Francine Prose. The Rules, the first book in the Project Paper Doll series by Stacey Cade. Purity by Jackson Pierce. Lucid by Adrian Stoltz and Ron Bass. Born of Illusion by Terry Brown, and this is Deckled Edges too, look. Crawl by Jennifer Albin, Possessed by Gretchen McNeil, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, Shards and Ashes by Melissa Marr and Kelly Armstrong, with additional stories by Von Karoff, Cami Garcia, Margaret Stroll and more. Hemlock by Kathleen Peacock, The Pledge by Kimberly Durting, Zombies vs Unicorns, an anthology by Holly Black and Justine Labalestia. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's a fight of zombies versus unicorns. 
These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Such a gorgeous cover. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling. House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini. And it has blue edges, isn't that awesome? And finally, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is the gorgeous UK edition, and it has black edges. It's a little bit beaten up because it's a used copy, but it also has the ribbon bookmark, which is so cool. And also underneath, it has this. So those are all the books that I got this month. Lots of books. I'm very pleased with my haul. I'm very, very pleased with it. It's gone extremely well. I've now gotten over the bulk of books that I just hadn't shown you before and these are for next month's haul. But my book buying has cut down right down because for one I don't have the money and for two well I am run out of space so yeah. Do you want to say hello to Ambrose? Hey! Look! You say hello? And you shall boo. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I have another video up for you soon. Happy reading. Bye. Please excuse the fact that I am all hot and makeupless. It's just hot. I but she needs um I can't speak today. It's not coming out right. <laughs> and stows away on the sky skip. So Catherine becomes cat and stows away on the sky. I cannot speak. This is not good. With also with Julia, um, I cannot kind of speak. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Shards and Ashes by Ms. Lamar. Miss Lamar. Miss Lamar. Oof. We'll just read you the. Ooh. <laughs> I can't. Can't hear. There.